Hello YouTube, this is Kevin794, and today I'm giving you the, uh, giving you a little tutorial, or whatever you want, uh, I guess, instructions to those who are new to Core Painter 12, which is the same as me, uh, but this is just a rundown on, uh, what kind of stuff you'll find in it, and give you some basic stuff. Things like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this real quick. Okay, uh, here we go. All right. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you the basic things up here. This control N. No, oh wait. I'm on a Windows Toshiba, so uh, if you're a Mac user, which I will be soon, uh, I do not know the commands to certain keys. Like for instance, Control Alt and click or uh, radius here. Uh, I do not know that for Mac, so if I do, I will definitely let you know in the next video. But this video is going to be about cloning and I'm sorry about that, where things are. We're going to do Control, I mean New, File New, and uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to call it uh, Humphrey. Humphrey, because we're going to call it Humphrey here. I think I spelled that right. Humphrey, I spelled it. From A O. A means alpha and omega from the movie. Uh, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of you people like alpha and omega, and I was told that they are making a new one out, but anyway. But since we're naming this Humphrey, we're going to do quick clone, okay? And now we have this Humphrey from A and O. So we're going to open up this picture here. We're going to open up Humphrey here real quick. One moment. There we go. There he is. Humphrey. Now, as you see, we're going to, uh, one moment, uh, quick clone again. Ta da. Now you're looking at him, you're thinking, uh, as you see, hey, right there. Humphrey, off on the mango. Uh, you can see that he's a little lighter than what he previously looked like. This is the previous picture. Thinking, wow, he looks a little lighter. Well, of course he does, because I'm cloning him right now. But, I'm going to try to make this video under 10 minutes because of the memory purposes. But anyway, let me slide it over real quick. Right here. Oh, hold on, there we go. Before we get started, you see these little things right over here. We got current pattern, which is nothing. We got offset, which is highlighted, so we can't use it. Image. Now you see this little uh, set tracing paper. See. Now we're going to go 100, and you see there's nothing there. Nothing there. Why? Why? But we go down to 0, it's full. Which is no use for that, so we're going to go to 50%. 50%. Which is in the middle. There we go. And uh, also, you're going to show you what you need to make this clone. Alright, I'm going to go over to pencils and you're going to see this whole list of things here and you're probably going, what in the world do I do with all this? Well, I'll show you what you're going to do. Let me just go out a little bit. We're going to go to, see we got the brush, airbrushes, art and brushes, artic oil, artist oils, artist blenders, chalk, Charcoal cloners, ding ding ding, click cloners, and you can see this whole variety of different sizes here. And you can look down at the bottom, I'm going to show what that looks like. See, I'm going over flat pin cloner. You see down here, it's going to sh click on my See how it shows that? Wait, see, it shows it down here. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use soft cloner. What the heck happened to it? Where to go? Oh, one moment. We do tend to lose things on here. There it is. Sock clone. Alright. Oh, one thing I showed you before. I mean, as soon as we did the video, but I'm going to show you again. Control Alt for PC users and Windows users. We're going to click, click Control Alt. It changes the radius of your size right there. See so that big, huge, huge, mega huge, and like a baby one. The way the baby looks like, so you can barely see it, but we're going to bring it up to big for the purpose of this video. 
Actually, it's perfect for his little nose. Yeah, perfect for his little black googly nose. Anyway, we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna push Control T. There he is. He's gone. What happened to him? Oh no! But let me show you some real quick. We're going back to pencil real quick. So, uh, see, Control T again. We're gonna put his eyes here. Oh, that's way too big. One moment. Let me bring down the size a little bit. All right. Here we go. Control T, you can see where his eyes are, so he's gonna put his eyes right there. Right there. Right there, his nose. Actually, Tedrick, we're just gonna I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna draw him real quick. Gonna, I don't have a wacko tablet, so uh I don't have a tablet, so it's I'm trying to do my best with my mouse on my computer, but I will be getting a tablet to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, when I get it, by the way, but right now I don't have it, so I'm just gonna deal with what I got. So, now, we'll change the color to black, all the way black. Okay, now I'm gonna draw him a little bit, okay? Take away this right here. I you see, Humphrey is one of those funny characters in the movie. I think Justin Long voices for him. I don't know much about the movie. I just started, kind of, I guess you could call it getting into it. I don't know, I'm just, a lot of people were at it, so I figured I'd just take a look at it. And I was told they're doing another one, so that's good. All those lovers out there who love the movie. But, anyway, I'm trying to do the best I can. Like I said, I got a mouse, so I'm going to turn around like those who have uh, tablets, which I'll be getting here soon. I'm going to make the compaction down a little bit more. Change my pencil real quick. Then I'll show you the cloning. Where the pencil go? Where go? Where go? Where go? Where there. All right. So we'll do this one right here. Get Oops, sorry. We're gonna get his mouth right here. You gotta have sturdy hands, and you gotta use a mouse. Oh, that looks terrible. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to my original pencil right here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to outline his mouth here. Oh, you also see up here, you can see the drawing right up here in this box. Up there, if you can see it, I'm going to get his eye. Kind of like a goofy looking eye. For a wolf. You know, I, I know a lot about the movie. I. I just know that it is a, supposed to be a funny movie about these wolves who got darted and taken to Idaho. Idaho. But, starting to see his little face come out there. Alright, voila. And we're going to bring this little dark shadow right there to bring in the, the depth of his uh, nose. A little line there, a little line there. Bring out his ears. I'll take out the shape of his body here. What a weird looking wolf, to tell you the truth. That looks human, which I was told by the futures that's what they are supposed to look like. Humanistic wolves. But, as you see, and then. You see, I don't, like I said, it's going to be very hard for me to draw hair, so I'm not going to do hair today. As you can see, now we're going to push Control T, and there he is. As you can see, that's a good learning for people who, good learning tool for people who don't know how to uh, draw yet. See, it's, it's called a tracer, that's what it is. See, what I drew is right there. Now, if I had my uh, tablet, I could be able to get a, get a better job, i tell you that. Stuff. Anyway, back to cloning. I just showed you that real quick, and I'm gonna save it real quick. Uh, save, 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 save. There's a purpose I'm just gonna call it Humphrey. Humphrey number one. I don't know if I spelled that right. Anyway, back to cloning. So we're gonna push new, new right there. We're gonna go over here. Open picture with Humphrey. A lot of people like Humphrey, so we use Humphrey. 
There we go. Okay. Now let's do a quick clone like we did last time. So now, there we go. Here's Humphrey again. And now I'm going to show you the cloner. It's like we said, we have soft cloner. It belongs up there. I don't know why it's out. We have soft cloner here. And now I'm going to clone. Control T. And I'm just going to go right over here with this soft cloner. Like I said, again, you can change your radius to big, huge, which is there. He's done now. Which we're not going to do that. We're going to. Proper size right there. Now, we're just going to go right over everything. You see, right there, he looks pretty good. Pretty good, huh? Now, if you're new at, if you're new at the uh, core panel like I am, you have just done a professional job, in my opinion anyway, but, because, uh, people do not, when I first started out, when I first watched the tutorial on anything, after I viewed it, after I did something they did, I thought I was doing great. Which means you have confidence in this. But, I just want to show you how to do that. And one more time before we end the video, I want to show you how to do it again. Okay, we're going to go over here, open, open your picture you want to select from, which is going to be Humphrey again. And we're going to do over here, quick clone, quick clone, and voila, there he is. Now we're going to push Control T, and we're going to go over here to your cloners, where they go, cloners, and soft clone. Soft cloner, right there. And just bring it over. Here we go. Alright, thank you for the, that's the purpose of this video for today. Uh, I will do more. I'll do review on the uh review on the Blackcomb tablet. I think connect connect pen and touch something like that. Yeah, it is. And uh, I'm also finishing up a review on the MSI Wind netbook. You guys will get that probably here soon. But anyway, thanks for watching this short introduction. And uh, next video is going to be about where everything goes. Like this goes here or this goes there or that goes there. You're going to figure that all out and what everything means. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day.